Welcome back to the FlareBar.com show. Still sitting down with Simon Ford. And right before the break, um, we were talking about the uh, Spirit Awards dinner. Yes. Um, what happened there? Um, I got the bathroom in trade. I saw that. Simon Griffith. I saw that. Well, I, I, I say it's, it's hard to clear that bathroom. I mean, there was a puncture of the screen took out. And okay. And a bottle of gin with it and a bottle of Danish on some people being whiskey pods. Okay. But actually, we have to be old school bathroom and just have the whiskey mm. before. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> As, as early as it was, and I guess the, the show was bumping for me as old school as it, as it gets as well. So old school's the new school now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the 80s revival. Speaking of old school, you remember J.D. Spradlin? No. J.D. Spradlin um, hosts these bartending competitions all over the world. Okay. And he's, he actually, he's been reading about you and stuff. And he wanted me to ask you, okay, okay do you remember the first drink you made Special drink, a signature drink that you made, the first drink you made that you gave to a girl that got you laid. <laughs> <laughs> the first drink that I ever made that got me laid. Got you laid. Not me laid. Because if you can make a drink that gets me laid, I'm taking you everywhere <laughs> with me. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, the first drink you made. The first drink. Well, actually, th 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 that's a tough one because uh, when I opened my bar, okay. uh, it, or, uh, you know, I opened a bar in Tony with a guy called Jake. Um, I had a long-term girlfriend at the time, and I uh, she came and worked as a, a hostess at the mm -hmm. bar. So I guess uh, you know <laughs> it was it was at every time for every, <laughs> <laughs> every it was an every night. We'll take that as an answer. Now, <coughs> talk to me real quick about what's up next for Simon Ford. Where are you going now? What do you have next on your chapter for yourself? Uh, actually, I, I I'm so um, looking forward to my next year because um, you know I I was managing several brand ambassadors last year and managing brand ambassadors actually is probably one of the most difficult things to do because uh, someone said that you know never work with you know animals drinking or bartenders i would like to add uh, brand ambassadors yeah, to you want to add that to the list we'll officially yeah. add it <laughs> and um and that's what that was taking up a lot of my time so i wasn't getting out to the bars as much as i did in previous years in my life but now that that responsibility has been taken away from me and they're putting me in this new position where they really want me to go out and work and create a finisher for this company. So I'm about to take a vacation, actually. I'm going to the I'm going out to the Middle East, which is going to be a pretty difficult place to get a cocktail, which is probably it nice. It sounds I'm like gonna, it is. Yeah, I'm going to clear my head uh, for a couple of weeks, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to really look at how um, we can try and bring absolute vodka back into the mindset of the bartenders, because it's kind of a brand that we neglected for bartenders for a while. And we're doing stuff now we have been for the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, but really step that up and mm. bring the education to it. And on Plymouth Gin, we're going to continue to uh, do, you know, mental health and all that kind of stuff. So well, we talked about it at, at one of the seminars throughout these parties at Tales of the Cocktail. I know we've all been drinking. <laughs> so I'm going to re-ask you here on the show so I have it on film. September, um, we have our Summer Flare 4 competition sponsored by FlareBar.com along with Absolutely. Yeah, we have a course. big Mixology yeah. Matters competition. Yeah. You're going to be there. Yes, this year I am. You I are going to yeah, be there, put on seminars and stuff. So yeah. those of you at home, um, September, the end of September, 22nd, check out flarebar.com for all the information. It's Mixology Matters, which is kind of combining the two, and that's what these Flare Bar competitions, uh, Summer Flare 4, really mix in. So I'm looking forward to seeing you down there. We're going to have a good time like poolside it. too, right? I think, we, uh, for sure. I think that um, what we should do actually is, is, you know, since we were talking about the classic cocktails, that we should have a – competition where you're only allowed to make 19th century cocktails you know what i like it <laughs> right there you know what you know what we're gonna do it we will do it without a doubt i'm telling you um with that in mind i want to tell you from my angle as being an entertainer and we i talked to tony and philip duff earlier the energy level that you bring to these seminars to these events it shows such a passion and i'm going to lay this out here is it really a passion or is this just a job? No, it's absolutely a passion. Okay. I mean, it's all I've ever done. You know, from the age of 19, I've worked in booze mm -hmm. uh, in some capacity, whether it's been bartending, whether it's been running a wine shop, mm -hmm. you know, and I've studied through the uh, WSET, the, the wine exams when I was working there. I just, just I, I guess I, I wonder if at 19, I would have loved anything. Mm -hmm. it just, you know, but it just happened to be that I fell into this and I got to go to Bordeaux and make some wine at that age. And it was passion still and w and then it, it's a good thing that it happened because Steve Olsen ran me to the spirit station and I've always wondered why wine guys just had no they always taste wines and they have dinner with it and then they can't taste spirits you look at a lot of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like and, and Steve Olsen 
did the seminar, I didn't know the guy at the time, and I, I remember ended up in Iceland, you know, several years after, but I was just looking out of, uh, for a spirit, and I just got into that, and then I met Wayne Collins, and maybe my first salsa lesson, I was like, man, I got into cocktails, so the whole thing's been a journey, and I wouldn't even say, I am very passionate about it, but it's because of all the other people that are so passionate about it. Amazing. This is such an amazing industry, and I tell you why it is, it's because there are so many incredible people in it, and I, I am so happy that I get to come up here. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's not, let me ask you a favor now and put you on the spot again. We're going to go on over, or can I invite you on over to our Mixology Lab and make us a drink, walk us through a drink? We're going to go to Mixology Lab, and we'll see you there with Simon Forbes. Yeah.